Hey guys, it's Rosie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very very excited about this video because we are going to be reviewing some products from Face Theory. However, I only tested two products so far. So if you've never heard about Face Theory, they are a UK brand. And I actually heard quite a bit about this brand from a friend of mine. And so when Face Theory reached out to me, I was like, ooh, I am actually very excited that I got this opportunity to try the product out. So I have picked up four of their products and I'm super excited to share my first impression about those two first and hopefully I can give you guys my thoughts on the other two down the track but yeah if you guys are interested to hear a little bit about their products that I picked up then make sure to keep on watching all right guys so let's chat about this serum this is the Hyaluret serum it's a blemish calming skin hydrating oil free serum with retinol ester hyaluronic acid beta gluten glucan licorice and dill so i picked up this one because i just thought it was just a hyaluronic acid serum like a hydrating serum but now that i read out everything here on the packaging i'm like oh there's actually many more things in there which i did not realize i, I don't know when i was picking out the products in on the website i just thought this one was just a very basic one but i'm actually glad i picked this one up but there's there's many other serums that i saw on their website that i really want to try i do have another one that i picked up and i hope that it does what i i was hoping but yeah so let's just jump right into this one so this one is available for 45 dollars 58 australian dollars for 30 mils and they actually break down how much it costs per meal so it's a dollar and 52 cents so this is an oil free that formulated with a revolutionary ester of retinoid and hyaluronic acid beta glucan and botanicals to target the visible signs of aging help prevent acne and locks in lasting hydration without blocking pores or causing irritation it also says that it's quick absorbing and oil free it delivers active that have been shown to increase the production of collagen, improve skin elasticity, and fight acne. Alright, so let me just show you guys how the texture of this product looks like. So it's very lightweight, almost like watery like, and it's super fast absorbing. It doesn't really give much of a glow as well. I'm probably not a fan of it because of its very lightweight texture for something that is quite runny like this. I'm not too sure if it's worth your money so yeah that's really my honest thought on this one all right the next product is this one so this is the res resvera f antioxidant serum so it contains five percent of resveratrol i don't know how to say it properly and three percent of ferulic acid so this is sold for 36 dollars and 08 cents australian dollars for 30 mils and it's actually a dollar and 20 per mils so this is to fight fine line dark spot and loss of elasticity while keeping skin calm and hydrated potent antioxidant which is uh, resveratrol <laughs> and ferulic acid so the reason why i wanted to pick up this part is because i still want to continue preventing all these dark spots and hyperpigmentation. I'm gonna show you guys how the texture of this product looks like. So see, it's more of a oily feeling. The best way I can give you guys to compare would be if you have used Medicaid, some of their serum, that's how it feels. It's quite heavy in oil and only a small amount of drops is enough to spread all over your face first time i used it and i use it during the daytime i put maybe about four or five drops and i apply all over my face and i was like oh my god this is quite oily and i actually massage quite for maybe a minute or so uh, before i move on to my next step and then when i apply a sunscreen my skin felt extremely uncomfortable and extremely greasy i wasn't sure whether it was too much of that serum or too much of the sunscreen or it's just both of them mixed together it just made it a disaster on my face um so i feel like it was a lesson learned if that makes sense so 
that day was probably the worst day of having a skincare routine so the next day what I did is I use about two to three drops of that serum and then I, I did the same routine and then I uh, and then I apply my moisturizer and then I apply my sunscreen a little bit less as well it was actually more comfortable if that makes sense be very mindful if you're going to use a, a serum like this one that is quite heavy on oil reduce the amount of drops if you're going to be using a super hydrating sunscreen then be very mindful so just play around and if you feel like that day you don't want to do all your skincare routine all over again then what i did is i used a facial tissue i just packed where it needed and i felt much better after that so that's my thought on this in terms of like whether you see results in fine line and dark spot and high pigmentation this is something that I need to test a lot more longer and it's also very hard to see on the surface if that makes sense and not just talking about this product but in terms of in general with like vitamin C, retinoid and anything that includes active it's very very hard to see on the surface however I can tell you from the face mapping that I did at Dermalogica you know by telling me that I don't have dark spot I don't have you know signs of fine lines or anything like that that actually made me feel very good about myself because that means that whatever i've been using for the past year or so means that all the hard work and all the money i've put into skincare has really really worked so overall about this product i find that even though it's quite greasy i still appreciate it a bit more than the medicaid because i use less drop the sweet spot would be two drops of it using it during the day will really help to boost that protection uh, from the sun for example and put it underneath your sunscreen will really help um, protect your skin that makes sense so my skincare routine in the morning is that I wash my face then I do my toner and then I apply this and then I use the Q&A vitamin C brightening serum you can check out my review video that I did recently and then I use this one because this one has an oil texture that's why I use this after all these two other serums. And then you can use your moisturizer, which is quite hydrating, and then you can use your sunscreen after that. So that's how I would do my skincare routine. That's how you can determine how to layer your skincare routine. And so far it has been good because I haven't peeled since and I don't want to jinx it. But so far it has been very, very good with my skin. All right guys, so the two next parts I am going to chat in this video are the two parts I haven't been able to test yet but I am super excited as you can, can see I haven't opened these yet because it's still sealed another way you can also figure out whether I have tested them yet you can always follow me on my Instagram that's where I am most active in terms of like what I'm testing at the moment and I also do a review there for any products I'm testing okay let's do the cleanser first so they do have a lot of cleanser and for me personally I wanted something different that other beauty bloggers were gonna get so I was assuming that probably the clarifying cleanser might be something that be different from other from everyone else so this is a AHA and BHA triple acid cream cleanser that removes makeup and impurities it's meant to be for a combination of oily skin and it's gently scented so i like how they're a little bit, they're more transparent in terms of fragrance but this is sold for 24 dollars and 68 cents for 170 mils so they actually have two types of the same cleanser so one is unscented and one is mandarin so i'm not too sure which one is this one they gave me but I would assume because it says gently scented, it will have mandarin in there. I'm not too sure. It does have some like citrus ingredients. And okay, so it's got lemony linalool oil uh, in there. So this one's got a bit of citrus. So they claim that this is the best selling clarifying cream cleanser containing a powerful trifecta of acid at a low pH to benefit oily, congested and blemish prone skin. So there's a good reason why I picked this one up as well. It contains 2% of the salicylic acid to penetrate deeply into the pores to remove trapped 
dirt and reduce the appearance of blackheads. It's also formulated with glycolic acid and lactic acid to exfoliate skin, removing dead skin cells and improving the overall texture and appearance. And I wanted something in the morning more than at night because I've got other cleansers that I'm using at night that are more effective but this one I find that for the for its purpose I think this one will be quite good I'll keep you guys updated but yeah I am actually very excited to try this product out soon the last product of this range is this is the uh, relaxing night cream it's a hydrating pro night cream with encapsulated melatonin, vitamin E and peptide. It's saying that it's for all skin type and gently scented. So again, the reason I picked this one up is because I thought it might be something different and not different from other review videos that you might get on social media these days. So that's why I wanted to pick this one up. So this is sold $22.78 for 50ml and I think this is quite cheap. For a night cream that has encapsulated melatonin and vitamin E and peptide very affordable mmm very affordable yeah so it also has two types so there's a lavender scent which I believe it might be this one and then they also have an scented one so I didn't realize that when I was requesting but I hope that is not gonna break me out <laughs> Pyrrolic acid provides antioxidant protection for the skin and help enhance the stability of vitamin E. Shea butter emolliates and provides a boost. And glycerin helps your skin stay hydrated. Argan oil contains omega acid to nourish dry areas and soothe troubled skin. So it also contains uh, vitamin C that can help to brighten skin and protect against inflammation. The scented option contains lavender which can help reduce anxiety and insomnia to aid relaxation and restful sleep. Okay, so it's just for that. So it's just more of a sensorial kind of experience. So yeah, who knows? I I will be very interested. I'll let you guys know what I think. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this review video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!